past few weeks, the conversation surrounding Xbox and PlayStation has been kind of crazy, right? Because the Sony ponies has been going off, the Xbox Andy's not stopping right now, and Dreamcast guy just went insane, right? He went nuclear, it was apparently his birthday. It was his birthday, so it was like a birthday present in a way and now a lot of people are on his ass right now seconds are going in left and right and, and the sony ponies and the xbox andys guys i want to show you guys a video the sony ponies and xbox andys i guess you all understand they can never come together as one but I beg to differ. I refuse to agree with this one. I believe that the Sony ponies and Xbox Andys can come together, but they need some motivation. We need one cause, and you know what? We have that cause today. That is make online free to play for PlayStation and Xbox. <laughs> Li like the video if you agree. Yeah, just like that, the Sony ponies and Xbox Andys would come together. Dislike if you disagree, though, but wait for this one. I'm putting on Dirt Griggity, one of the biggest Xbox fanboy, and he's the only Xbox fanboy that I actually like watching, <laughs> and he better go crazy on them PlayStation fanboys. I roll it. I vividly remembering for like two years, PlayStation fanboys was kind of terrified about xbox owning abk <laughs> they were just terrified say if, yeah. if they own abk they'll put call of duty in game pass and and that'll be unfair and these guys are kind of scared of xbox owning abk and putting call of duty in game pass we all know jim ryan himself yeah. was saying if <laughs> xbox buys abk we would not be able now listen, from the PlayStation Sony standpoint, I do agree though. Listen, I, I see the side of PlayStation right there, absolutely, because like uh, your competition, Microsoft, they did a buy Call of Duty and Call of Duty. Listen, everybody talks trash because recently the game is uh, the game sucks. Absolutely, there's no um ifs and buts about it. The game sucks, but it's the best selling game. Suck is hated, but suck is still play it though. Yay, suckers wanna hate it, but suckers still play it. It's like the McDonald's, right? Everybody knows McDonald's is bad, but can a brother get a Big Mac? Can a brother get like a like a large one? Can a brother get some large fries? Once in a while, understandable, but but yeah, so Call of Duty is like the McDonald's uh, version. So when Sony saw that they could potentially lose that ability, oh hell yeah, they were pissed. Oh hell yeah, they were mad. Because you were uh sort of not sort of you were directly attacking their pockets when i when i'm saying you I, I mean to say like phil spencer and microsoft they were directly and indeed they directly are trying to hit their wallets able to recover all that Wait type of it? stuff was happening for the last two years but now it's crazy a couple crazy. months ago tim yeah. dog who was of course a huge oh, xbox no. fanboy he flipped the script now he's an xbox hater and his twitter timeline lately has been absolutely embarrassing the stuff that he's been saying but we'll talk about that later but even he brother just awake he he's awakened awakened soul man he's an awakened soul yeah tim dog was like big xbox fanboy he has like xbox tim dog something like that and now it's apparently place playstation tim dog <laughs> PlayStation Tim Dog. I, I just can't, bro. <laughs> I just can't, man. I, 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 listen, I don't see no problem. He's awakened. He switched sides. Uh, everybody has the right to either buy PlayStation or Xbox. I think it's perfectly fine, but okay, let's actually see what's happening. He said, man. yo, man, Xbox can afford to put Call of Duty and Game Pass and Xbox is bankrupt and all kind of crazy stuff. Yeah, PSN Tim Dog right there. <laughs> well, anyway. Tom Warren said Microsoft will reportedly add the next Call of Duty game to Xbox Game Pass. Yeah. I understand Activision is targeting a late October release for the next COD. <gasps> so that's great news for us Xbox fans. I mean, I buy yeah, Call of yeah. Duty every year and mm -hmm. to still be able to have the game and play the game without buying it, that's cool. Yeah. And that's what Xbox yeah. wants everybody to mm -hmm. do. They want them to play the game in Game Pass. They want yeah. new subscribers to Game Pass. And Yeah, I if you already have Xbox Game Pass and you like Call of Duty, this is a, a W. It's like, you don't have to pay anything extra to buy the game. Yeah, and I'm saying that as a PlayStation uh, guy that plays uh, on PlayStation, yeah, I don't have Xbox, but it's like, yeah, holy crap, you don't have to pay $70? Oh, oh, absolutely, like, I I'm with that. Oh, hell yeah, oh, what you mean? F what you mean, if it's, if it's uh, if it's free, it's for me. Now I get it. Like it's not free, free, free. Don't get me wrong. But if you already have Game Pass, and if you're somebody that, uh, but 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 there's more. There is more. If you're somebody that only plays Call of Duty, then Game Pass is not for you. Because technically, like if you only play Call of Duty, you don't play any other game besides Call of Duty, right? 
you getting the game pass my guy it's gonna be a lot more expensive towards the end of the year you're gonna be spending almost like 200 dollars even more so for you for a person that only plays call of duty for you it's better to just buy call of duty for 70 dollars but if you already got game pass and you want to or you don't but you want to play like a lot of games and call of duty is one of them Oh yeah, getting Game Pass, absolutely good deal. And for Sony, this is bad. Uh, it is it is bad because they can potentially in the future can lose some some customers. And I believe that they feel putting Call of Duty in Game Pass will of course entice more people to subscribe to the service. But the thing that I want uh -oh. to talk about uh -oh. is all of a sudden people's concern with microsoft money saying can microsoft afford to do that they can't afford to do that are you people stupid are you people uh, uh, no I, I don't think people are uh, uh just uh, disagreeing with that now people are not disagreeing people everybody knows microsoft is big three trillion dollars uh, it's not necessarily that people are just talking about the xbox division as a whole because the xbox division is smaller it's a smaller thing for microsoft and microsoft don't care for xbox the way sony cares for playstation simple fact here is this that place uh, playstation makes sony a lot of money right but microsoft is so big that whatever xbox is making it's not like big big enough for them so they don't care the way sony does care and uh, people know that uh, uh, yeah that's basically pe where people are at right now people stupid microsoft owns call of duty now do you know what that means they're getting 70 percent of playstation's sales now Microsent microtransactions, they're getting 70% of PlayStation microtransactions from Call of Duty. They're getting 100% of Xbox microtransactions for Call of Duty now. Okay. Trust and... Uh, yeah, I, I, no, it makes sense, makes sense. Because, like, on Xbox, uh, yeah, they're going to get all the profit. And if they put... in its ex <laughs> Call of Duty is now an Xbox game. Call of Duty is an Xbox game. Call of Duty. Oh, I'm shaking. Yeah, Call of Duty is now an uh, a first party game. <laughs> first party. Yeah. Yo, this thing is really did do that, right? They really did buy that buy that crap, man. Right? But now nah, makes sense. So Call of Duty first party title, and if they put it on game uh, on PlayStation, they're they're gonna keep a lot of the profit. But seventy percent. Uh, where are you getting the number from? Uh, this is my first time hearing. Maybe it was confirmed. Actually, I don't know. Uh, first time hearing. Where did you get Believe. that? Believe. They know what they're doing. They're doing. I'm not going to doing. second guess a trip. Doing? My VV go boing boing though. Hey, yo, Bruh. what? I hey, yo, trillion what? Dollar company, a three trillion dollar company, I might add. Hey, yo, what? Just for some console war shit. But these other people, they will look like a fool. This guy, Killer Clown, he says, Max, this will be fire. Putting caught uh, No, this will backfire, which is... Yeah, okay. Duty on Game Pass on. is a bad idea, but PlayStations have to pay the full price. It should be illegal to put big titles on their subscription. All platforms should pay full price. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, listen, I need to say this. I play on PlayStation, but like, if you already, for example, right, would you pay $70 or would you want a game for free and that I mean not free but but like if you already have game pass right now like I would go with free in that aspect bruh uh of course like yeah like duh duh I, I wish all I, I really wish that call of duty was free on playstation as well oh hell yeah bro like I don't want to waste money <gasps> do you guys wanna don't you wanna uh, not waste money right it's like it's one of those things bro like make online free to play absolutely <laughs> PlayStation, on, Xbox, on, online needs to be free. Online needs to be free. Like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. And right as we get down to the climax, our guys, uh, there is like a clip that's coming up. We got to talk about Xbox coming out in 2026 as well. Next gen version. Yay, get ready for this one. But real quick, I want to say I have a second channel. This is where we upload content surrounding uh, the benefits. I talk about the benefits of not just the pom pom. We got the memes content there, so definitely check it out. Uh, we also have another channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content, everything every single day the links would be in the top in comment below where you can catch my instagram twitter twitch all the youtube channels and also the secret link oh, shit. yay let's all right, let's get back to the content now here now speaking of the next gen xbox right we're apparently word is around the streets that we're gonna be getting the next gen xbox in 2026 
PlayStation rumor for the next PlayStation 6 is that it's gonna come out by the end of 2027 or 2028. And what we're hearing is that it's a rumor, by the way, that the next-gen Xbox is gonna launch day one with Call of Duty 2026. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it, let's be real. If that happens, and I think, like, this is what Microsoft needs, right? Because I'm all, all up for competition, and recently Xbox is just... It's not doing too hot. We know, like, they cannot compete with PlayStation. I, I mean, I would like to believe that they can if they keep dropping good games, but they don't want to drop good games. This is why Phil Spencer went on record and literally said, we cannot compete with uh, Sony. I mean, damn, homie, you're publicly really saying that? That's crazy, bro. So Phil Spencer said they cannot compete. His words, not even mine. I think they cannot compete, but I also at the same time think they can compete if they choose to drop good games now this is where i'm like okay if they drop like the next gen xbox with call of duty 2026 day one and you don't have playstation 6 yeah they can make some serious change they can get a lot more people uh getting the xbox because if they were to launch xbox and playstation uh at the same time sony was launching playstation 6 then yeah you're not gonna be able to compete with it but if you launch it at a time when sony don't got playstation 6 then oh absolutely i think you're gonna bring in a lot more people onto your console and i think the reason why it's happening is because playstation is gonna have ps5 pro by the end of this year that's the rumor what if they change their plans what if yeah i'm actually thinking what if sony decides to do a thing where they're like oh shit like they're gonna launch next gen uh xbox in 2026 okay we need to not launch playstation 5 pro we need to release playstation 6 at the same time right <laughs> we need to do it at the same time but i don't know if they're really gonna do that and, and if you if xbox only has the real next gen console in 2026 and playstation don't call of duty is coming out and, and, and you're, you're gonna find out quickly that xbox is gonna be just boasting the fact that hey you want to play last gen version on ps5 on the xbox series x or then on the next gen version yeah buy the next gen xbox 2026 baby xbox 2026 baby yeah play next gen 8k 120 fps or whatever bull squash we're gonna have as tagline and marketing line for the next playstation and xbox yeah a, a lot of people will buy and as a youtuber i i don't have xbox but if that's really true for to show you guys gameplay to stream and and talk about and cover the game absolutely i would have to uh get it yeah yeah and a lot of people would yeah <laughs> this dude said it should be illegal to put big titles on subscription services Sir, can you do me a favor? Get some Windex, clean off your dirty ass bathroom mirror, Bruh. and look at yourself. It should be Bruh. illegal to put big titles in a subscription service. Duh, they want to entice people to subscribe to the subscription service. That's why they put a big title in there. Yeah. You're just mad. You're just jealous because the PlayStation just, version is going to cost 70 bucks. You're just jealous. While the Xbox version is going to be in Game Pass. Well, I yeah. mean, you can still buy it for 70 bucks. But, mm -hmm. you know, to mm -hmm. me, I think it's mm -hmm. better to pay $15 to play it in Game Pass. Uh, the price is increasing, so it's probably e either going to be like 20 or 25 bucks, which is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're somebody that's gonna be playing like other games, then then yeah, it's a good deal. He said it should be illegal. <laughs> Where y'all find these niggas at? Hideous Whoa. says, who's mad? LOL. This is a major L for Microsoft. They still have to make the money up by closing studios. They going to increase Game Pass. So good luck. Bruh. Man, what the Bum fuck is you talking about? What the fuck was that? I'm you can just... You can just see the tears. You can feel the tears when he was tweeting this message. This dude is hurt. Aw, oh, man. This is a major L. <laughs> then this dude has to bring up how Microsoft closed a couple of studios. These people keep on second guessing <laughs> this $3 trillion corporation. One of the richest companies in the world, if not the richest companies in the world. They think they know better than this corporation. It's just sad. And here's everybody's favorite guy, uh -oh. Dreamcast guy. Uh oh. Man, it was the homie's birthday, damn it. It was the homie's birthday, so what, man? We had, uh, like, all the Xbox bad news just fell on his lap, bro. Like, that's what it is, bro. That's why he made the videos, man. 
Like, it's perfectly fine, bro. Like, it, it's gaming at the end of the day. It ain't that deep, right? It ain't that deep. He somehow... It was his birthday present, damn it. Now trying to make this Xbox putting COD in Game Pass news a negative. He says, Call of Duty is coming to Xbox Game Pass, and this makes me nervous. <clears throat> nervous? Yeah. This is Microsoft's final effort to get failing Game Pass numbers up, but will they lose money? You smoke crack, don't you? You smoke man. crack, don't you? I mean, if you're gonna say it like that, man, Sucker's gonna be mad, though. Sucker's are mad as hell right now, man. The Xbox Andes, man, and Sony Ponies, bruh. I'm just saying, man. Y'all bringing some of the best sauce, so I, I ain't even that mad. I can't stand these damn dudes. Look at his thumbnail. He used the word yikes. Yikes? It's yikes. Putting Call of Duty in Xbox Game Pass is yikes. And he says, I'm nervous. What the hell you mean you're nervous? <laughs> you're nervous because of Call of Duty going into Xbox Game Pass? You are so full of shit, man. Damn, so homie. full of shit. Damn, homie. And look at these cringe thumbnails. Does anybody make more cringe thumbnails than? Uh, it's a it was a birthday present, bro. Like, yeah, it was uh, the homie's birthday. Like the video, guys. It was it was the homie's birthday. Like the video, guys. It was uh, Dreamcast guy's birthday the other day. Dreamcast guy. Remember a couple of weeks ago, this dude literally posted eight straight videos bashing Xbox. Yeah. Now there's some good Xbox news that he still want to act like it's negative news. Yikes. <laughs> yeah. Your face is yikes, you piece of trash. Hey, whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Pump the brakes, bro. It's just gaming, bro. Like, it ain't that deep, bro. Like, we don't need to attack the homie like that, bro. Like, come on, man. Hashtag equality, bro. Hashtag me too, bro. Bumble club, butty boy. Like, come on, man. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, hey, man. Like, it's, 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 it's video games, bro. It ain't that deep, bro. It's ain't that deep. It, 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 let's keep it on the, the, the topic, bro. Let's keep it, like, low, low here, man. Paul Tassi says, congrats on Call of Duty on Game Pass, but also Game Pass probably ending up being $300 a year before too long. Again, without dramatic new subs, well, price increases are mostly what you got. We'll see. Okay. This, this right here is Bull, Bull Squad. <laughs> now, why is it like he just like so negative? Yeah, congrats on Call of Duty and Game Pass, but the price is going to go up. Yeah, the price is going to go up. Yeah, probably. Okay, everything goes up. Yeah. Stop acting like, you know, everything is so negative, man. You don't have <laughs> to continue to be negative by Xbox when they have... Negative, man. ...some positive news. People nah, acting... he's... Uh, I feel like that... No, nah, I, I hear your point, absolutely. But, but I also... But yeah, but Slick is gonna talk about it because they're gonna price increase and nobody wanna pay more though. Now, I, I totally understand that and we, we all have been... We all saw this coming. Yeah, sure, like the price is gonna increase like that. Yeah, it's gonna increase. Do we want the price being increased? Absolutely not, bro. Absolutely not. But it's gonna increase. So it'd be what it'd be. I, I think the reason why folks are uh, like uh, uh, kind of negative man on the xbox side is because of like the past history of xbox like recently they shut down a bunch of studios right mad booty goes on stage says that uh not he didn't run on stage but he did an interview says that like hey uh you know we want more games like hi-fi rush hi-fi rush and then the same day they killed that studio phil spencer uh nowhere to be found says gaming for everyone gaming for everyone games are coming says the same thing every year games are coming games are coming games are coming never comes uh, i mean they do come but then we end up getting games like redfall we all know what happened starfield one of the most hyped game for xbox and yeah uh, a lot of people were like really really positive at it in the beginning right now nobody cares and if you talk with people they're like yeah brad like who cares about starfield and seconds don't have like a good uh positive uh feedback about that game so xbox have uh, has fumbled the bag many times numerous times halo one of those things hi-fi rush something that people said it was good sure it was granted it was not like their biggest game but people said it was good and they they shut them down they sh <laughs> they shut them down right so there has been so much like negative news about xbox and don't 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 get me wrong like we had the hell divers 2 situation too i covered all of it on the channel as well we clowned on them absolutely equally if not even more but but with the with the xbox situation is that these things keep on getting bad news after bad news so a lot of people right now are just I guess they're they're seeing the negative news and now they see like one good news and they're like I don't know man there's got to be some cash 22 with this one too
So like x oh yeah, they're gonna raise the prices. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's still gonna be cheaper than $70. Mm, yeah. Did he yeah. also say it's, it's gonna be cheaper if uh, uh, Call of Duty will drive some new subs, but there's also a big base of people where it's just one of a couple games they may be playing a year. So are you signing up to service? You didn't, yeah. Yeah, that exactly what we were talking about. If you're only gonna play Call of Duty, then not worth it. But if you play Call of Duty and you wanna play other games, or you already have Game Pass right now, absolutely this is a massive w and guys you're not gonna believe it this literally just happened this video is going viral right now and a lot of people are mad this has effectively started ww5 in gaming uh yeah check it out i think you're gonna like it or maybe not okay check it out on the left this video is on my second channel yay second channel guys check it out and i'll see you right there